The Pale is not, technically speaking, part of reality. Yes. Also, I think we've had enough excitement for today. We do have a case to attend to. Of course, Lieutenant. Let's try something else. I don't think your colleague would appreciate that. He has already been so patient with this whole exercise. Let's continue with something else, all right? You can ask about anything else in the world. Anything. You could sneak back later when the lieutenant is not here, unless you can convince him to step aside. Hmm. 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 She won't maneuver her way out of this one. I am the vilest of the vile. A traitor. A devourer of nations and infants. I am an ultra. It's sharp. Haven't you heard? I am a nether creature of the Forbidden Swamp. One of those who pushed the king under a shit wagon and betrayed the revolution. We surrendered the nation to financier pirates. No sane person identifies as ultra-liberal anymore. Not in broad daylight. I can see we're not so different, you know. Tell me, now that I've uncoiled myself, do you find me frightening? In her green eyes, you see a mixture of truth and self-satire. Decades of guilt and pride. Forgive her. But only because you like pearlescent teeth and those light green eyes. A devil, who being of great charm and guile sneaketh into the homes of the godly. That dialect is obeisant. You recognize the quote from somewhere. A play written way back in the Franco-Nigerian century. Maybe you remember more than you let on. Despite whatever brain damage the alcohol may have inflicted. I hope we are able to continue as friends. Despite my scaly bulk and my intimidating liberal credentials, this was not the plan all along. When the dust settled, the liberals were the only ones left to clean up the mess. By virtue of their survival, they were handed enormous power to shape the future. This was all our last generation managed.
With due respect to our overlords, the eternal caretaker government that keeps Martinez a monument to the efficacy of its artillery. While a gentle wind sweeps the streets in the rebuilt east, light drizzle washing it clean, lights go up and motor carriages circulate the tracks. I would not have relinquished sovereignty to the coalition. Not here in Martinez, and not in the Stella Maris or Delta Beachheads either. If not for my own sake. Then for my daughters, we had an obligation to defend our sovereignty. We should have burned the whole Isola down rather than let them have it. Dark orange flames reflect in her green eyes. An oil fire on the ocean. Yes, I suppose I am. But I wouldn't be a patriot anywhere but here. Seditious talk, man. Perhaps. My intellectual vanity will be my undoing. You're no dummy yourself. A smart boy getting smarter. One basic term of reality at a time. Yes. Whatever else I am. I'm also a mother. And a wife. Now, shall we return to reality? A bird? A... Svenicid? A flightless bird of the polar regions? Some sort of krill hunter? No, wait. You're an ancient ruin. A symbol of hubris and decay. Half submerged in some salty sea. You're not, my dear. I'm just terrible at guessing games. Ah! This is the pier of Rue de saint Gislaine, 33A, where the tenants have been kind enough to rent me a slot. Or two. A pre-revolutionary tenement. Old buildings are called tenements, you see. And new buildings, bâtiments. After les bâtiments nouveaux. But 33A and 33B are not nouveau. They're old. This one used to be eight to ten stories tall. A real high-rise by the standards of the last century. Built to mirror the skyscrapers across the bay in the Delta. That was before the war, of course. Mostly the urban middle class, I believe. This was once primo real estate, before the cannons locked four or five stories off. Splat, splat. You could be wrong. But from here, it appears as if she's running the brush across her throat in a soaring motion. Wonderful. The girl in the old lady rags. Looks like a sullen and rebellious member of a teen infraculture. Yes, you and I belong to the supraculture. We're common, the herd. The music on the radio, the food in the chain restaurant, those are all too popular for the girl in the old lady rags. She prefers a fantasy world, an infraculture with its own dress code and vernacular. It is an illusion, I'm afraid. There is no refuge from the supraculture.
I can't. That's how simple it is. One may dye their hair green and wear their grandma's coat all they want. Cattle has the ability to subsume all critiques into itself. Even those who would critique capital end up reinforcing it instead. All right, what next? Suddenly, you're not so sure you're part of the supra culture. And what would that be? I can see that, yes. I dabble in those dark arts myself, not so long ago. I assure you, it was a thoroughly supracultural phenomenon. All permeating. Downright mandatory. Nothing infra about disco, baby. Those days are long behind me. And even in the early 30s, I would say I was more of a new girl. Disco was a minor, but still enjoyable facet of the whole thing for me. The new, a cultural era and the name of the decade it ravished, the 30s. It came out of post-revolutionary Revachol. It was ultra-liberal. It involved lots of partying, as you might imagine, and champagne-colored everything. By the looks of it, that would have been when you came of age. Now, Wasn't it Guillaume Le Million who said, if you can remember the new, you weren't there? For some reason, your mind is a veritable repository of Guillaume Le Million lyrics, trivia, and b-sides. But the time to explore this is when you're alone, facing a mirror perhaps. Right now, it would derail the reality lowdown. Glad to have been of assistance, the little that I know. Anything else? Fairweather T500. Remember that weakness.